Hey, this is Katie Jeter with the Public Affairs Program here on KNDY. This week, I sat down with the president of the Waterville Community Connections, Nicole Porter. She has been president of this group for about three and a half years. The group used to be called Waterville Chamber of Commerce, but slowly started to decline, and the pandemic in 2020 didn't help. Um, so it is going on three years now. I started in April of 2021. At that time, it was um, the Waterville Chamber of Commerce, and it had slowly the attendance had been declining. And then 2020, when COVID hit, it just really the organization kind of weaned off. So the leadership at that time approached me and asked me if I'd consider being president. And I said I would, but I felt like um, we needed to make it more into a community action group versus just a chamber. So we, we do have a business branch of it. We actually have um, four different areas and business being one of them. We also have beautification, we have um, publicity, and then publicity tourism, and then the last one, O, is events. That's kind of how we restructured the organization when we started it back up. Waterville recently got a brand new sign for the town. Pictures sometimes don't help with the location of where things are, especially if you don't go anywhere too often. So it's located at the corner of Highway 77 and 9, Highway 9 intersection. Um, That's also Waterville's main street is what we call it. Um, But we decided to put it there because at least the traffic coming up from the south on 77 has to come to a stop there. So it is facing south, and we thought that would be the best location for, you know, traffic that had to really slow down could see it. Um, But you can also see it, you know, just driving along 9 Highway as well. They decided to get a new sign so community events and advertisement for businesses can be displayed on something different. It was a year to a year and a half process from when they first talked about it to when the sign got put up. Well, So certainly um, our Waterville Community Connections are open to the public um, and we have membership as well. And it was, you know, just during one of those brainstorming um, points during one of the meetings that someone just happened to mention that, you know, the LED sign might be a way for a lot of different businesses to be able to well, that we could put community events up there, but then also um, advertisement for for businesses. And so we formed a co- um, a committee that put started looking into it. And uh, Carl Prinslow is the one that really headed that committee and and did a lot of research in in what size of sign we should have. You know, the pixel size of it, um, kind of cost and things like that. And then, you know. Each time he he would come and kind of let the the group know findings and stuff like that. So it was certainly open to the community to know about. And it was over a a year, year, year and a half process from, you know, when the idea was first brought up to when we finally had the sign standing. So I want to thank Nicole Porter for being my guest on this weekend's Public Affairs. Continue listening to next weekend's public affairs as Nicole and I continue our conversation about what future events are happening in Waterville. If you want to listen again, you can always go to kndyradio.com. Thank you for listening. This has been Katie Jeter with the Public Affairs Program here on KNDY.